Hello there guys, Steve of War here, and welcome to, I guess would be a Monday musing from myself. It's more really to talk about something that's been in the news over the last day or so that's kind of caught my eye, and I feel like I need to talk, talk about, with you guys, about this. So, Mass Effect Andromeda, as you know, big new game that's coming out, probably already out, very, very soon at least. And the main thing that's come under fire that's brought it to at least my attention, as well as everyone else in the community, the gaming community, has actually been talking about this, it's crazy, um, is the fact that the animations for all of the characters are so hilariously broken, it's a wonder this game actually got released and greenlit. Honestly, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link to the article by Kotaku that showcases all the GIFs and stuff that have been doing the rounds. They range from just the, the stoically plastic to just the batshit insane. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. <laughs> Let's hope they've had better luck. All right. I got us here. There's a particular one here, you'll probably see it now, is you've got the main character who's trying to walk down the stairs, but it's not really a walk, it's more of a kind of a squatted scuttle. It's just absolutely hysterical. Absolutely hysterical. And it kind of, this beggar's belief this game actually got greenlit because surely there should have been some kind of QA testing to begin with to do with ironing out these animation issues. Who brings me their sweet implants? Their sweet implants. Oh crap. But here's the thing. This is hilarious. This is comedy gold to a you don't really see it in this day and age, especially with AAA game releases at least. But seeing this does not make me then want to go to this next extreme reaction, which is what the main point of this conversation is going to be. Apparently, some fucking idiots have decided to take it upon themselves to get very angry about this, claim that this is the cause and the downfall of the Mass Effect game franchise, even though they just need to look at the fucking ending for three, um, and have decided to hurl abuse at one of the proclaimed lead animators who dealt with all the motion capture to do with the game. There's a woman who goes by the name of Ali Rosemary Liost, sorry about the pronunciation, who basically saw vicious harassment on Twitter and other websites, people who basically blamed her solely for the cause of Andromeda's awkward facial animations, among other things. The harassment just reached complete crazy levels of just abuse. Flat out abuse. There's no other way of putting this. I'll read out a couple to you that I've got in the article in front of me here and you can see for yourself. I'll put them on the screen now. Why did you remove Mass Effect's Andromeda's information from your profile, I'm guessing? Ashamed of what you did? You should be. Or this one here. You ruined Mass Effect, frowny face. I hope you get fired as soon as possible. Gee, helpful comment there. This is where it gets, like, purely abusive, flat out sexist. Can I stick my dick in you so I can learn a few more facial expressions? Come on, dude. Really? And here's the best one. You're really bad at your job. I guess this is what happens when they employ based on sexual organs instead of talent. Uh, um... Okay, this is just absolutely ridiculous. This is like a witch hunt for no real reason. And yes, games when they release broken and there's things that need to be fixed, you have this perfect little vision in your head of what this game is supposed to be. And when that bubble is burst, it is annoying. It is annoying, but at the same time, think rationally about it. Don't then think to track the person down, lynch them on the back of a pickup, and then hook them up to a fucking burning cross or something stupid. Think breathe, and then be done with it. That's not the best part. The best part of this is the fact that that wasn't the right person at all. And a statement made kind of clarifies this quite hilariously. Recently, a former EA employee was misidentified as a lead member of the Mass Effect Andromeda development team. These reports are false. We respect the opinions of our players and community and welcome feedback on our games. But attacking individuals, regardless of their involvement on the project, is never acceptable. Yes. Good on you. Much as I disagreed with some of the things that Mass Effect has done recently, especially to just one particular person. But honestly, regardless of the abuse, the fact still remains that these animations need to be fixed. But they're not going to be fixed anytime soon. They have stated that there is going to be a patch somewhere in the future. Not near future, they've said. <laughs> not that, not that close, unfortunately. But there will be a patch. But for now, 
just, I'll link you the gifts below. Check them out because they are absolutely hysterical. Anyway, that's all I've got to say about the matter, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I, um, just to bring you up to speed of what I'm doing at the moment, I've just recently finished a review of the Resident Evil 7 downloadable content, so you can check that out here. And I am also working on another top 10 video, which should be hopefully out soon, in the next coming weeks at least. So you can check that out on my channel as well. And also, if you want to see what's also coming up on my schedule, check out my Twitter page. I've got a photo of my schedule for upcoming videos for this kind of month. It's a little bit of a loose schedule, but you can at least sort of see what kind of video... <laughs> Yeah. At least see what kind of videos you've got to look forward from myself. Um, I am working on them. It's just taking some time to get to it. So I hope that you stick around and enjoy. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.